My name is Bozina, and I'm from Warsaw, Poland. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> for bad English. <laughs> In Poland, if somebody wants to become a magician, it is just about impossible to get started. But here in America, if a person wants to be a magician, they can have big instant success, thanks to the acne. <laughs> Mail order magic company. <laughs> Well, what did you fight for, you crazy woman? What? For this bloody mess, for those killings, for this war? If my husband didn't sell a few stolen cameras and a few stolen TVs, my mother would die of hunger. But she says, oh, because of you children, now I can sleep peacefully. Really, mother? But I can sleep peacefully. Why did you fuck up my sleep? Why did this prick Zivorad Babich, acknowledge me. Tell me why. Oh, Nina, things were different then. Hmm. Very different, mother. Did you notice that Serbs and Croats are not comrades anymore? They kill each other, mother. Who am I? On which side am I? What am I supposed to do? Go out on the street and scream, I'm sorry, I'm sorry my father was a Serb, but I'm not your enemy. I don't want to kill you, I'm not your enemy. It's all shit. How often have you come home from a hard day's work and once again been faced with two time-consuming rituals? Cursing out your boss and making a dinner salad. Well, now you can combine the two chores in one easy step through dinner salad therapy. You take the head of lettuce and with a non-toxic marking pen, draw a reasonably accurate likeness of your boss. Rinse the lettuce underwater. Squeeze it while you simultaneously curse, you lousy, low-life son of a... That's all there is to it. You feel better, and your lettuce was never crisper. I am Bozina for Evening Stew. Girls, try not to be frightened. She just needs to know. Shut up. Where is Robson? Professor... Professor Robson? Yes, my pretty little girl, Professor Robson. Tell me where he is or I'll kill her. Amsterdam, he went to appraise the... the samovar? Is that right, madam? Please, I don't know. She was the last one to see him. She has no reason to lie to you. No? Are you sure? Are you really sure? No wonder Kulesha was impressed how beautiful you are. Such an innocent face. All right. You'll come with me. If you're telling the truth, Robson will give up the samovar for you. But if you're lying, I kill you. Get dressed, gorgeous. Huh? We're leaving five minutes ago. Go! Being here tonight confirms my strongly held belief that fundraising for worthy causes is strictly a job for women. I mean, we all know what happens when men get involved with money. <laughs> the first thing they do is try and take charge of everything. The next thing we know, us women, are making the men peanut butter sandwiches. And the men are fighting some war at the other side of the planet. So, on that note, I'd like to introduce the woman who will be in Niagara Falls just in a few days. 
to accept the Fuller's Humanitarian Award. A woman you all know maybe a little too well. Good night, everybody. Come on, Gretchen. Let's go walk with you. Be safe. Be careful. <laughs> like a man? Norman, is that you? Norman! Get the jeep. I meet you on the street. Get the jeep! Go! Rosalie, they've been here. This is his writing. <laughs> 